This is just a quick screen capture of the speed that I was getting before I installed the SSD drive into this uh, iMac mid-2011. Hey YouTube. This is my iMac 2011, or mid-2011. It's going to get an upgrade today. Uh, so I have got a SATA SSD. This is one terabyte. It's already got the operating system and the whole of the Mac hard drive copied to it using the disk utility uh, that Apple has in it. So I did that last night and I checked it all out. It all works okay. I'm not going to use the, the little uh, temperature sensor uh, trick. Um, I've read on a couple of websites that actually you don't need that. In fact, all you need is the SATA splitter cable, which I'm going to use here. And because the SATA splitter cable grounds down some of the channels, some of the pins um, that you don't need it. So what I'll do is I will take um, the monitor off, uh, the LCD display off. Um, I've got gloves on, so I'm not gonna leave any sticky fingers. There are lots of videos on YouTube showing you this, but I just wanted to show this one uh, with this SATA cable uh, as a fix uh, or as an alternative way, uh, rather than actually spending the money on that thermal uh, sensor, which can cost you around about sort of 45, uh, dollars, uh, 50 pounds, that sort of range, uh, and seems to be of no value to anyone to do it, um, other than spoofing the, uh, the the Mac to think that it's actually got something on there. It's not actually doing anything physically as far as temperature sensing. It's just suppressing the uh, the fans that will spin up. This Mac's never been opened up, so I've got a lot of screws to take off, um, and I've obviously got to take a lot of care to take the LCD as well off. So um, what we'll do is we'll have a look later um, as we get inside the Mac and uh, you'll see effectively the SATA cable installed, the bracket and the, uh, the SSD installed in it as well. So we've now taken everything off the uh, screen. Uh, a little bit tricky over here. There's a clip that you need to depress and to slide it out. So um, it wasn't obvious. So I laid the Mac down and did it that way. As you can see here, this is the SATA drive that we want to take out and we'll replace it with the SSD. Uh, and uh, we'll um, adjust the cables over here. So in theory, all of that that I've got there should um, should just plug into those cables and um, we'll extend uh, the SATA drive in the way that I want it to. So now what I'll do is I'll just dismantle this and the next screenshot you'll see will be um, with the, uh, the SATA drive and the cable installed inside it. I think I can probably tuck the SATA cable over in this area over here. It's a little bit dusty inside, uh, so I may take the opportunity just to vacuum it out a little bit as well. Um, and uh, and I'll come back to that in a minute. All right, installation was a little bit more tough than I was expecting. This extender bracket actually clashes with this uh, heat sink over here. So this was underneath the hard drive, um, so the solid, uh, the um, uh, the SATA drive that was originally installed in the, uh, the Mac itself. So using this as a bit of a a buffer to hopefully protect the back of the uh, the LCD. I, I think I've got enough clearance. Looking at the sort of the tolerances around here, sort of over here and over here, I think I should be okay. But I'm a little worried that that and that, uh, you know, we're we're kind of above that area here. So it may be that I can't do this with this particular uh, caddy. I may have to just take the caddy out and use double-sided sticky tape or something of that nature uh, just to stick the drive in. But um, this is only about nine bucks, so if the metal caddy doesn't work for whatever reason, then uh, I can always go and, and, and remove that. So what I'll now attempt to do is, is um, look to see if I can put the, uh, the LCD display back in place um, uh, without putting the glass in, and then uh, see if I can fire it up that way uh, and make sure that uh, nothing is going to, to get in the way. But that's the, that's the extra power SATA lead, so I've uh, kind of put some uh, tape over the top of that to hopefully protect it. But um, I'm assuming that I've probably got enough space, but um, this is gonna be uh, a close thing, I think, um, when I actually put the display back over the top of it. But I'm hoping that it's uh, got a, we've got a little bit of tolerance in there to, uh, to, uh, to manage it. Well, the good news is that it all works. As you can see here, this is a screen capture. I'm gonna do a live one run now. Uh, but um, I've had no revving of the fans. I've been running it for a couple of days now seems to be really quiet. Uh, so I can assure anyone who's looking at using this as a possible fix, this will definitely work. You do not need that little temperature sensor uh, with inside uh, the, uh, the Mac to, uh, to keep the fans from over revving. If you like this, please think to like and subscribe.